Hello, Geminis. I am back. Sorry I've been off for so long that I will be posting more videos this uh, as the month goes on. I'll be doing some Twin Flame, Soulmate, uh, Karmic, Third Party, maybe even some financial videos, random messages, just lots of different things here and there. Um, as always, if you want a private reading, my email is below in the description box right below this video. That email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. And I charge $50 for a 30 plus minute reading. The readings often go from like 30 minutes to about an hour or so. So yeah, all my information is below. Family and tribe. We have Phoenix Rising. Dreams. This Lionsgate portal that's coming up what I'm getting is that it's going to be bringing in your soul group It's going to be bringing in like-minded people. I feel like a lot of you have in the recent past cut out someone like maybe you cut out like a best friend or like an ex like I feel like I feel like you're like I feel like for this energy group I feel like you guys are kind of going through a transition and you know take it as it resonates Maybe it was a while ago. You cut them out for from a lot of you. I feel like it's been more recent too. Or it's like maybe you had like a, a friend group that was kind of toxic and you moved away from them, but like you haven't really put yourself back out there just because all that, the damage, the trauma, it's like you're having a hard time really letting go and, and trusting people again after that. There might have been some gaslighting involved as well. And what I'm getting here with family and tribe and... um and tigers might be significant too for someone. Yeah, look at this. There's two tigers. There's a white tiger and then there's the orange tiger right there. Um, but anyway, with, with Phoenix rising, I feel like I feel like you're coming into your, your power. I feel like you will be going through the Lionsgate portal on the 8th. Um, and I feel like you will be manifesting new people because I feel like you've learned the karmic lessons already. Like, I think it was hard. I just feel like there's someone... It's like either a group of people that you moved on from or like maybe like a specific person or multiple people. And I just feel like it took a lot of strength and courage and self-discipline because I think you knew that you were going to be alone if you did this. You know what I mean? Like it might have been like your only social group or it's like your only support or like maybe it was like a like a best friend or like the person that you hung out with all the time or talked to all the time and you knew that they were toxic and you knew that you would, wouldn't have anybody to talk to or you wouldn't have, you know, anyone that you were as close with if you let go of this person, but you let go of them anyway. You, you wrapped that karmic cycle up and you're about to be rewarded for that because I think you're like, you know what, I don't want to feel this way anymore. I want to break this subconscious pattern I have. I don't want emotionally unavailable one-sided relationships in my life anymore I don't want toxic relationships in my life anymore I don't have the time or energy for this anymore so no matter how much it hurts I'm going to wrap this karmic cycle up and I'm going to just try to have faith and hope that the universe is you know finally going to bring people into my life that aren't part of those karmic cycles and lessons you know new energy new people and i feel like the universe is i feel like you you know you have you have learned the karmic you you have learned the lesson from that you have wrapped that cycle up so and you still need to use discernment like if you're empathic and intuitive like you're what is it that that meme says it's like um what is it uh toxic people are are narcissists go to everybody that's that's not the issue. They go to everybody. They go to empaths. They go to people that are confident, people that are insecure. Um, the issue isn't them coming to you. The issue is you letting them stay. So it, it, it's like you're coming into this mentality where you're just not resonating with that energy anymore. Like you just, you're not going to be attracted to them. They're not going to be as attracted to you. Like you're just not going to, you're, you're on like a new vibration some of you are studying the occult or witchcraft or you're some kind of because I'm seeing the book here it's like some of you are studying something and I think that's going to go really well for you like I think you're going to be tapping into past life knowledge and you're really going to be coming into your power with whatever it is that you are um it's like a hobby or like a career or something there's something basically what I'm getting from this is there's something from your past life that now that you wrap this karmic cycle up, you're kind of like in this new higher vibration, like you're starting to ascend is what I'm feeling. Like mentally, spiritually, emotionally, like it's it's chaotic at times, but you're leveling up. And yeah, I feel like there's something that's coming into your life or something that's already just, just currently, like just recently come into your life 
that's connected to your life purpose and like connected to like your past lives. So it's like if you were like an artist or you were like into witchcraft in your past lives or you were like a shaman in your past lives or you were um, like a baker. I don't know why I'm here like like food baker bakery or something um, or just anything of that sort. It, it, it's like there's something like almost like esoteric, though, but it, it's like there's something that you're you're being drawn like a hobby or something that you're being drawn to, uh, to study, to pursue. And for a lot of you, that is witchcraft, that is magic and really tapping into your power here. And that comes that knowledge you're pulling on that interest in that, that, um, that pull towards that comes from your past lives. You know, I always say too, like the, the draws that you have to like, if you're drawn to like Egypt, like Ireland, Scotland, like a lot of you have past lives in those places. That's why you feel so emotional and so drawn to those places. Like I always feel drawn to the Isle of Skye. Um, so yeah, take that into account. But anyway, sorry, not to get too on the tangent too much there. But um, yeah, I feel like you've learned a lesson. And like I said, you're ascending. And I feel like a lot of you are just going to meet these people unexpectedly. Because I kind of feel like in the past, it's like you were really, you were, you were like very, like, I feel like you felt very alone. And so I feel like you were really desperate to find these people. And so you were like, you were looking and I think that you were just kind of like settling for toxic people out of loneliness. You were like tired of waiting for the right people to come in. You were tired of waiting for like family and like, like your soul family or like love, you know, romance, you were tired of waiting those for those things. And so you started, um, just settling. And I think at some point you're like, you know what, this isn't worth it. Like, I actually feel better just being completely alone. Like I feel more alone around these toxic people than I do when I'm just alone by myself. Like, you know, some of you are just connecting with like book characters or like movie or TV characters. And that's not a bad thing, but it's like, you have to find that balance too, between going out and, and staying in and, and getting lost in that world, you know, but there is a balance. And like, I always say like, um, spirits, I know it sounds weird, but this is for someone that needs to hear it. Spirits can channel through movie and TV characters. Same, same as they can with songs. It's all forms of media. They can, spirits can, living or dead can channel through those forms. So like you ever like, you're, you know, you're listening to the radio and a song comes on and you feel like it's from someone. You feel like it's like your person of interest is like trying to send you a telepathic message. The same actually works. Not a lot. Of, I don't know why but most people don't realize it, but the same actually works for like movies and TV shows. Um, where it's like, I don't know how it is. It's like, maybe like the spirits like draw you to certain characters or certain, certain, I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure on how it works. Um, but it's like these energies come through and they're, they're messages from spirit. I know that sounds strange. It's hard for me to explain it. Like I understand it. I kind of understand how it works, but it's hard to put it into words. But anyway, that was just for someone really quick, not to get too much onto that. But, um, but yeah, it's like you cut, I think like you cut a lot of people out or you let a lot of people go. Like maybe they left, but you still let go. You didn't chase them like you would have in the past. You're like, you know what, if they want to go, it's going to, it's going to kill me, but I'm going to let them go. Cause I know I deserve more. And I feel like, you know, you're in this high, you're coming into this higher vibration now. So it's like, you're manifesting people. I feel like unexpectedly because I feel like a lot of you are just okay being alone at this point. You're just like, you know what, if love comes, it comes, if it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, like you want it deep down, but I think that a lot of you are actually starting to like enjoy, you know, coming into your power and you're enjoying this kind of newfound like strength and independence. Like you're enjoying, um, if you're going to school or pursuing hobbies or like saving money, it's kind of like, even if it's stressful, it's like some part of you still enjoys it. Cause it's like, you're getting like, you're on your career path or you're on you're you're, you're doing what you love or you're working towards your goals, like towards what you love. So you're, you're not as focused on relationships. You're kind of, you're, you're kind of starting to realize like the right people will find you and then they're not going to abandon you. The right people are going to love you for who you are. And that mentality, like hold on to that mentality and that confidence and that, that understanding that your, your energy needs to be reciprocated. It needs to be mutual because that like, look at how powerful she looks, he or she, male or female, but look how powerful this person looks. Like they're not begging anybody for attention or time or love. No, like they're, they know that the right people, the people worthy of them are going to come into their life and stay it's like, and look at like, you see like these almost like ghost like figures too. It's like, these are like people from your past that are like, oh my God, like, 
she switched he or she switched up on us like wow like we're really out like the smoke is like clearing them out like they didn't think you would ever leave they didn't think you would ever clear them out they didn't think you'd ever be done with with you know them being psychic vampires and whatnot and you are and you're in your power and so like I said that power look at these people too like these people are powerful too like they match they this these energies match you know primal energy here like almost like shamanic kind of energy here it's really beautiful like this is really good energy here and and this could be love too because I see this like couple it's like they're powerful look at them could be something with tigers or with cats or something too here but um but yeah this energy is beautiful like look how powerful they are look how strong they are look how like intuitive they are you know but um but yeah like being in this energy being in your power like this it's manifesting your dreams or yeah it's manifesting your dreams it's manifesting your goals it's manifesting these people that are and like I said I think they're gonna find you unexpectedly because it's like you're not like desperately searching for them anymore like you, you kind of realize that that doesn't work you kind of realize that the universe is just it's gonna happen when it's gonna happen and, and so I think I think as you start like going out and just having fun you're gonna just end up meeting these people more and more it's like you're gonna you might just be going out to like a club to just dance and have fun and you don't give a shit about meeting anybody, but that's when you meet someone, you know, or you're going out to like concerts or restaurants or travel or hiking or just, just doing, you know, going to painting classes, going to dance classes, to the gym, just, you know, just doing things you love and you're just doing it for yourself. That's the beautiful thing too. You're not going there with the intention of like, oh, I gotta, I gotta find someone. I gotta meet someone. You're just going there like I'm just going to live my best life. If I'm living it alone, that's, you know, that that sucks, but I'm going to I'm going to do it. I'm going to find the beauty in the world anyway and I'm going to go out and just live my life. And as you get to be more social and more open, I feel like these people are just going to start coming in as you put yourself out of your comfort zone. You know, your energy is going to it might have intimidated weaker people in the past, but it's your your energy, your confidence, your power, your passion is going to match your soul group's energy. You know, they're, they're not going to be intimidated by, like people have been in the past. And you might be having dreams about these people as well too. You might be having like um, like past life dreams or like visions, especially as we approach the, the Lion's Gate portal healing. Help from above. It's weird because I don't usually like read reversals. I mean, especially with this, I didn't even know that was reversed. I thought all these were up, upright, but it's almost like you're healing. And like in the past, because I'm looking at this reverse, like in the past, it's like you didn't have anyone except for like your spirit guides or like people that have crossed over, like your ancestors, like maybe like connecting to whatever realm you're from. It's like you you were kind of just on your own and you you always had this guidance and help from above. But I'm seeing now you're actually going to be... Um, there's going to be mutual healing. Like your soul group is going to be just as happy to find you as you are to find them. And there's going to be, you know, finally like that healing is going to take place in the physical. It's been like a lot of like, does that make sense? It's been like a lot of like spiritual healing, like a lot of like healing with help from like your ancestors, your spirit guides, just healing on your own. And now I think you've gone through it alone enough to the point where it's like, you're going to be healing by like having new good experiences with people having happy experiences having like support in your life finally you know what I mean like just good energy yeah have faith have faith and unleash your creativity you know get go out there and live your best life like and tap into that creative side tap into that inner child you know be your true self let go of the pride because it's like the right people are going to love you for who yeah self-love let go of the pride because the right people are going to love you for who you are Yeah, don't get go don't, don't get caught up in um yeah, you've ended that self sabotage entrapment cycles. It's like you've ended that that um period of like entrapment and self sabotage. And it's like look at it's like you had like these male or female, it's like you have these like toxic people and it's like you're not even you're like supporting them or being supported by them. You're not even like realizing like this owl, like your ancestors are been like, Hey, get away from these people. Like these people are just like succubus, like psychic vampire types. Um, I'm, oof, I'm drawn to look at her holding her belly. I want to say for someone specific, they wanted to get you pregnant to tie you down. Hmm. Or if you're a man, like if, if you're in a man, if you're a man in like a straight relationship, 
then maybe the woman wanted you to get her pregnant to like keep you and like manipulate you or something. That's not for everybody. It's just for a couple of you. But um, it's like, look, like she's holding this like candle that's blown out. Like there's no, like she's lost her spark. She, he or she has lost their spark, their passion. Um, I think your energy is also very connected to the moon. I want to say I keep seeing the moons in here. Like there's something about like the moon, like the moon, the moon loves you or so, I don't know. Like there's something about your connection to the moon. Like really talk to the moon I'm hearing. If that makes any sense. I don't know. Well, I'm a witch, so I guess it does make sense to me. But anyway, um, yeah, it's like they put your candle out. It's like they were like, they might have like manipulated you into like dulling your spark for them. It's like you gave and gave and gave and it was just never enough. And like, look at like her gray hairs. It's like, it's almost like it weighed, like it was aging you almost. It was so stressful. It was so lonely and you were just kind of like entrapped and you didn't even see what was going on here. This toxic, you know, plague doctor over here. Um, but that cycle's ended. That You ended that cycle. You let them go. Whether either you left or they left you, but you let them go. This time instead of chasing them and trying to prove your worth through them, you're like, nah, you want to go, you go. I think my life's going to be better for it. And so, yeah, that was, it could have been two people specifically. It could have been like a best friend and like an ex. For some, it could have been like your best friend or a close friend like cheated with your, um, with your ex or something like they, or like they hooked up with your ex. So they did. There's might've been like a mutual betrayal here with two people. Um, but anyway, I feel like you've let it go. I feel like you're, you're moving on from this and you're ready to, um, you're ready for better things and better things are coming because of your energy, because of your willingness to cut these cycles out and your willingness to put yourself out there for the right people and to choose yourself first and to, to develop that genuine confidence, you know, and not ego, not like thinking, you know, there's so many people that are so insecure and they like pretend like they're confident. They put on a front, but you are actually developing genuine confidence. So genuine confidence is like, it's like being nerdy and creative and weird and out there and goofy. And like, you're just, you're just you, you're going to be yourself regardless of what anyone thinks. You're going to be honest. You're going to be true to yourself above all else. That's genuine confidence. The people out there that are like, they have to buy like certain clothes and makeup. And there's nothing wrong with like, like, you know, dressing up and wearing your makeup. Like I do the same thing. Everyone does. You know, a lot of people do at least. But it's like those people are like only confident when they're in that state. They're only confident when they have their makeup done and when they're out. Like when they're at home in sweatpants, they don't really love themselves. So it's like their self-love is very surface level, if that makes sense. But you're actually, for this energy group, you're actually developing genuine self-confidence. You're actually like, you're going to love yourself. If you're wearing a hot dress and your, your makeup is all done, you're going to love yourself just as much as you do when you're in your sweatpants at home doing nothing. Like you're, you're just, it's going to be consistent. It's going to be a different energy, but, um, but yeah, that's manifesting really good things for you. So just keep living your best life. Keep getting out of your comfort zone. Um, the only advice I could say is like, maybe some of you do need to be more social because it's like, you know, that they're coming in. Like, you know, these people are coming, like, like, or you're manifesting them, but some of you are getting like lost in like movies and TVs and, and books because you're afraid to put yourself out there again. And so it's kind of like, you're, it's like your healing is coming to that like climax, if that makes sense. It's like, you've already done a lot of the work and some of you are just like trying to it's almost like self-sabotage where you're trying to perfect yourselves because it's like you're, you're, you're kind of, there's still that little bit of fear of like, oh my God, like what if I get cheated on again? Or what if I lose my best friend or, and again? What if this happens? What if that happens? And so make sure when you're healing that it's actually healing and it's not just you like procrastinating and like sabotaging because you're afraid to go out there again. You, you, you know what I mean? Like make sure you're genuine and you are genuinely healing. Don't get me wrong, but don't get in that cycle of like, oh, I have to be a hundred percent perfect before I can have love again. Like, I think the majority of you are already ready or like you're getting to that point where you're like next month or two, you're ready. Like you're pretty much like you're either there or you're about to get there already. So you don't need to like, like you've already been alone for a long time. You know what I mean? Like you've already done a lot of the healing work. You've already processed and done a lot of shadow work. Um, some of you might have a little more shadow work to do, but it, it, it's kind of like, I think your spirit guides are also saying like, it's time to live though. Don't, don't get so caught up in healing that you forget to have the balance and you forget to go out there and have fun, you know? Um, but anyway, as I said, if you guys want a private reading, please email me. My email is in the description box below this video. My readings are $50 for a 30 plus minute video. And the video usually goes from like anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour. I, I make sure all, you know, the questions are answered in depth. 
Um, if anyone solicits you for a reading, if they message you and tell you to message them back, that is not me. Uh, you know, be be wary of scammers on here. My email is right below, so you can right below in the description box, so you can just copy and paste it directly. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And any donations are appreciated as well. My donation link is below in the description box too.